all right guys so we got it the uh, hose hooked up to the tank as you can see here you just basically very simple just you basically just tighten this up and you can connect it so anyway just figured i'd show you guys that i'm filling up the tank right now there's the solar well pump right there and uh, we're going to run this water down the hill uh, once i get this about half full and we're going to start pouring the uh the wall well you can see we're filling up the tank here down the hill pretty good stream of water really this one's a little different I actually hooked it directly up to the pump pipe, so it's pumping down the hill here. You can see a pretty good stream of pretty good stream of water, really. But I'm just filling up the tank. All right, guys. So we got some uh, two bags of Portland cement, and then the rest is just regular quickcrete, the cheap stuff. Um, this is basically the stuff cement's made out of. It's the uh, component that makes the cement stick together in a way i'm just going to put about one canful in every uh mix that i do just for a little extra just for a little extra better cement probably put a little more in that one it says them are 94 pound bags I carried 17 bags down the hill all the way down here. All right, so now I'm going to mix it. You guys may have seen me mix concrete before. But I just do it in one of these black feed tubs here. Yeah, if you watch the channel a lot, you might have seen me mix the cement on my uh, outhouse build series. And this is going to be a job right here, getting all the cement in the... <laughs> See if I can get you guys an angle here. Maybe that might do it. But I'm just mixing the cement here. I might add some more of this actual mix here if it's too soupy. Because I don't want it too soupy, truthfully. I want it kind of a little bit dry on this one. What kind of a pour? The way the forms are set up and stuff, don't want it too soupy. I think you guys probably get the gist of it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the film the whole thing here, but I'm going to pour this into the uh, concrete form in just a moment. Real wet cement here, not what we're looking for. Keep throwing cement in until it's not wet anymore. Some people have said that this could take me a long time with the 16 bags. I really don't think it's going to take me more than a few hours. I mean, yeah, it'd be faster with a concrete truck, but... Anyway, I'm going to shut this off here. Well, guys, 
Grant Nelson again here with the Mustache Off Grid YouTube channel. Uh, just figured I'd uh, give you guys an update on the log cabin that I'm working on. So here's a couple of the logs. They're wet today, so they look a little darker. Uh, it's been raining, which is pretty uncommon for this time of year in July. Um, here's two logs I skinned. Got the trail cleared out nice so I can bring the logs down easily with my truck, which is parked up there. Um, I'm probably going to cut these trees down here so I can back the logs right up there. Um, I figured I'd show you guys the uh, concrete pylons that I got poured for the logs. Uh, I probably could have showed you guys the process for that, but I was just a little tired at the time and just, just trying to get it done because I was running a little behind. You could see the... Um, back wall form there didn't work out quite as planned but the corners are solid so i'm just gonna use the corners as pylons like this um, eventually i might redo the middle um, there were a few spots on these uh cement pylons i had to patch up a little bit but they're not bad i put some uh bolts in them so i can make when i do the corners i'll run some sort of a uh, chain or something or wire um, just to make them a little more uh, solid uh, this one you can see is a little shorter in the middle than the uh, other two so I'll probably put a little log under there and notch this out uh, I'm planning to do a v-notch on these which I'll show you guys what that is when I do a another update video here these are just a few of the logs that i've stacked and i was just getting them dried out but it's been hard to get dry days we'll get four or five dry days and then it'll rain um so it is what it is but uh i've got some uh linseed oil that's a little bit of an update on things i'm gonna do a little bit of work today Maybe cut these two trees down here so I can back the truck in there easily. Um, I got a new saw. Uh, my other ones ain't running good, but I'm going to get them, get them fixed. Um, but anyway, just figured I'd give you guys an update here. wondering what I was doing there I was just making a square piece of wood I'm gonna use uh, a bunch of these to uh, for where the doors and windows and stuff are gonna be at and I'll probably cut sections out of this so I was just making a square piece to use for that so that's all I was doing there and uh, I'm probably gonna make some more of them so just figured I'd show you guys that process there a little bit 
I uh, would like to use longer logs and that way I got to cut less of them. So it's all work in progress. I'll be working on this for a little while and uh, I'll be cleaning up this section here. I'm probably going to fell these two trees too. So I'll probably let you guys see that. Let's see here. Let's see if we get an angle for it. Probably fell the front tree first, actually. Nice sharp saw blade. So there's one down. Uh, the middle section of that log there, I'll give you guys an idea here. So I got the one square piece here. The middle section of this log here, I'm going to also use for a square piece because it's thick enough. Uh, the rest of it I'm going to use for firewood, probably smoke wood. Or it'll just degrade down into the soil and go back to the land. Part of it might. And then I'm going to cut this tree down here too. So I'll let you guys see that. And if you guys haven't seen how I fill these trees, uh, I cut a V-notch downward. And then here we'll try to straight in about three quarters. And then down like that the way you want it to fall. And sometimes you got to kind of go around it a little bit just to get it to fall the direction. This one's not too bad though here. Uh, so I'll just let you guys watch. See if we get a good angle there. I kind of needed to get these out of the way so I can pull my truck up here with the logs as I uh, get them going here. I will be stacking logs pretty soon here. I'm still skinning logs, but they're kind of wet today. So I decided that I'd knock this out because it's all got to get done anyway. And it's going to make the job a lot easier in the future. So it is what it is. <laughs> figured you guys might like to see this finished product of one of these uh, logs that I kind of hewed, I guess you'd call it. You can see it's nice and square. I squared it. The curve doesn't really matter, 
because I'm going to cut individual notches per piece. These are going to be cut into like 10 inch pieces. In the when I need to stack the logs, they're going to go in the notches of the logs. So I can cut those notches individually uh, based on these. So anyway, I figured you guys would be interested to see the nice squared log. Nice and squared. And uh, that'll be, I'll probably be doing these other two pieces right here as well the same way. So just figured I'd give you guys an idea. When I'm going to put the door of the uh, cabin, like right here, and I'll have some nice stairs going up to it. But I'm going to put the door like right here. So I'm going to need those things for this corner and for like right here. Uh to stack the logs i'm gonna v-notch these just put one of them in then the next log will come over the top and it will get a v-notch like this so that they'll stack in there perfect and i'll probably nail those pieces of that in there as well you could probably just use a four by four um, but i'm trying to use as much log as i can so anyway i figured I just explained that process to you here. Here's the other piece I did earlier. This is actually a hickory, so that's a lot harder wood. And I can definitely tell the difference uh, between cutting the hickory with the chainsaw and the oak. There's no doubt about that. So figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an update here. It's not a perfect science for me anyway, but basically I'm making a V and then the top, the next log that lays on top of this is going to have the same top as this right here. And then it's going to have a little chink notch on the bottom 
that fits right in there. So the bottom of it will be like this. Hang on here. The bottom of it, the log, next log will be like this and it'll fit right in there. And then the top will be the same shape as this. So that way the next log on top of it will fit right into the notch. So that's the plan anyway. It's not a perfect science. You ready for your treat? See it? See it? See it? Nice catch. Nice catch. We'll give you one more for the show. One more, boy. See it? Nice. Very nice. Good boy. Good boy.